This is a video series on Embedded Linux with the Octo project. Subscribe to the channel to learn more about embedded systems. In this video, we will see how to build images from scratch. So in order to build an image from scratch, you need to define a recipe. So what I have done is I have created a recipe called IoT support dev image. So this is image. Uh, basically to uh, provide development environment for IoT uh, platform. So for that, I have created uh, a layer called Meta IoT Support Beagle Bone Black. So maybe uh, watch my previous video. Here I have created a layer and that you have uh, something called uh, recipe core so core recipes for this image sorry core recipes for this layer and that you have a subdirectory called images so here i have defined iot support dev image dot bp so you can see that uh, the summary is an image used for iot platform this basically is for a development image so similarly i will have an image for the deployment then uh, the image installs this variable basically uh, installs all the different uh, software so the packages that you need in your image so oh, here i have i have included the package group core boot and this is a package group core full command line so if i just see what exactly it contains so this recipe basically contains the minimal boot requirements so it contains the it depends on the base files, base password. So it's it's something to do with the very minimal uh, the minimal software packages that needed to boot your device. Well, the the other package group that I have included to install is the the core full command line so this is the standard full featured linux system so this is a full feature linux system that is what we want for our beaglebone black so package group brings in packages needed for a more traditional full featured linux system well so that's why i have included here and and this also includes some of the packages so these are full command line, full command line utils, full command line extended dev utils, the multi-user. So in its scripts, the command line sys services. So all of this will be available. And you can see that uh, package group core full command line utils. It depends or it will include all of these uh, packages. So it will have bash, ACL, ATTR, so all of this attribute mc uh, will have set you will have tar you will have time module you will have util linux util module you will have prox all of this okay all of this will be part of your linux image and also it extends uh, some of the ip root ip utils and also open ssl and it also includes the diff utils, m4, make, patch. So it has the necessary components for a full featured Linux image. And if you have the Rainx core image extra installs, will also be included. And under the image features, as we uh, said in the, the previous episodes like image features are the features that you want to include in your image so here i have included a dev package because i want a development environment so 
development packages which contains headers uh, for all installed packages in the root, root file system. And I also want a debug package where I want to debug uh, symbols for my applications. Then debug tweaks makes an image suitable for development. Example, allowing passwordless root logins. Then the package management. So installs package management and tools and preserves the package manager database. So let's say if in case if we want to extend the IoT image to, to automatically install uh, any packages. So we need a package manager. So we need some package management facility. That's why I have added this. Well, and then you have image linguals. This is by default it is enus so it's use english oh, and the, and one of the important thing here is uh, image fs types this is image file system types uh, this is basically what are the file system that your image should contain so are your image generated after you generate an image so it generated the ext4 format jffs2 and r.bz2 so i wanted to have this but uh, these image types will also be part of your the beaglebone yocto.conf so machine configuration so that's why i omitted it out here and one important thing here is that for any image that you want to create should you inherit inherit the previous image so in, a, in my case i'm inheriting the clear image so as you can see this core image is uh, the class file so this also includes the core image base install the core boot base extended and these things so this in turn it inherits from the image so what i've done is i have inherited this core image class and i've extended this class with uh, the other information other uh, necessary uh, things that i want in my image so let's let's see some of the uh, things that are part of the beaglebone yocto configuration this is the machine configuration. So this basically will be part of your BSP. You can see that the meta Yocto BSP under that you have conf machine under that you have a beaglebone Yocto configurations. So here you can see that uh, some of the machine related configurations will be there so it needs the the kernel modules the kernel device tree and extra image depends is the virtual bootloader and then the default tune is a cortex uh a8 h of neon so as i said uh image types so which i have not set it in my uh, and IoT support the image.bb file. So you can see the image type FS types that it generates is tar.bz2 and jfms2, wic, and big pamp. Then the extra image command is jfms2 is minus lnp, and then wks file is the big one yoc2 wks. So all of this information is part of this so you can see the kernel image type is that image the kernel device tree the dtb files are these things the kernel extra argument the load address to the u-boot entry point so all this is part of this so the u-boot entry point is eight triple zero eight triple zero. this is for bagel one black and if you see here the spl the secondary uh, program loader binaries the mlo the u-boot suffix is img the u-boot machine is a335x 
EVM DF config. So, and again, you have the eboot load address. Uh, it's the same with the eboot entry point address. So, these are the machine related information will be part of this. So, well, so these are these things will come when you want to create a new BSP layer and then define uh, the configuration for your machine. So, well, with this, uh, we are ready to generate the image. Also, what you can notice is that I have added recipe IoT and the core recipes. Uh, I have IoT tools. So, this is one recipe that I have added to basically extend the image to have the OpenSSH Python 3, uh, Python 3 pip, and the core utils, and the time date control. So with this, I can now build the image. So yeah, one more thing that we also need to uh, check is of the build configuration. So here you can see the BB layers. Conf here I have added, or when I create, I am when we add the layer, it will appear in the BB layers conf, and it will include the meta IoT support BB. Uh, layer and in the local con here I have selected the machine as Gameo. I have tested what the Beagle Bone Yacht also, but for for this example, I'll go with the machine Gameo arm and then uh, other things I will keep the distro is Poki and the package class is the package IPK. So if uh, if you remember, we have enabled the package manager. So here it will support uh, IPK packages, which are good for IoT systems. The init manager is SysMD. And the init extra image features are, I have included in the, uh, in my IoT support dev recipe. So this extra image feature here, I have debug tweaks, but I can remove it. The user class is so build stat. So well, with this, we can start building the image. So I think it will take some time. So based on the CPU resources. So I had already built it uh, in the interest of time. So it should be available in a couple of, I would say one or two minutes. So we'll wait until it finishes. Then we will launch the QMU and then see if our system is up and running. Well, now that the build is done, so I will just run the QMU on image and see uh, how it boots and then what are the different things that we have. So it's starting the cameo. Um, so it needed my password to create uh, the tab, the network interface. Tap interface. Well, now it is booted and available because my my PC 
So resources are not that great. So it's taking time. I'll go to CD, then let's see what is installed. LS, uh, so bin, I'll just check the bin. You can see that a lot of uh, uh, images are installed like we said sleep to the Y ping this is the IP uh, I have the network related stuff well here you have uh, LS user bin We have got much more uh, binaries that are installed. So, well, because I have enabled the dev, so I have a lot of this stuff. Well, now we have learned how do we uh, create an image from scratch. So, well, we have learned how do we create an image from scratch. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more projects, courses, tutorials, and tools.